thing is fantastic. It's like a bush. It's like a bush camp you feel like with women, facilities. You want to get away from people. Rome, <laughs> Rome's not the place for you. Get over here and do some exercise in the exercise yard. Blue skies. The best day so far. Taste buds on. I think he was digging through the walls, maybe doing a Shawshank Redemption. You can't walk out there now. Back in my day, <laughs> I never thought I'd say that. But... Blue waters, blue sky. What more can you want? We are in Robe Tourist Park and we're staying in a cabin but we thought we'd do a bit of a walk around and oh my gosh this is an awesome car for a caravan yeah. park. So for 35 years we've been in and around Robe. I knew the caravan park existed but it was always the little off the run down side and never got involved because we were always out at Long Beach. Yeah. Which is um, a discovery park. Which is yeah. a discovery park has turned into and it's turned into whatever a discovery yeah, park. Yeah, commercialised one, yeah. With nice fine white lines and all that Small sort of stuff. Small sites. This thing is fantastic. It's like a bush It's like a bush camp you feel like with in facilities in and a feel, kiosk. You feel like you're in a national park with allocated huge sites buried in bushland with great yeah. facilities. And I don't know if it was ever this good, but um, over Christmas, we caught up with family friends and they said that the local electrician, I think he is, or plumber, yeah. at Robe had taken over the caravan park and done wonders with it. And it's pretty, like, this track we're walking down now is part of the caravan park. Yeah. So, and you can't hear anybody. No. Nah. And everyone, yeah, everyone's kind of like in their little area and there's like facilities like showers and... Um, a little camp kitchen we'll in most of the little of the, of the areas. And give you an idea and show you where we're walking. Yeah. But you feel like you're actually in a conservation park. Yeah. And we're just heading back, apparently one of the paths back to the cabin, because there was no campsites available. But um, yeah, it's uh, <laughs> if it was always like this, I'd be missing out for yeah 35 odd years. So this is cool. And they. Power, there's bush camps and then there's powered sites, non-powered sites. Cabins. And as you drive in, there's more sites which are uh, a bit less treaty areas, but it's like a big open reserving type thing with all the gum trees. Yeah. But they're not like white painted line sites, no. you know, three metres wide by I don't know, six metres long or whatever. And then you've got, you know, you're jumping, I say, ju yeah, for oh, kids. 
parking area through there. And through the kiosk, you probably can't see and, it. And um, they have a food truck that pulls up later for tea if you want to have food. They have a few beers and drinks, which is the local road brewery products yep. and stuff. So definitely, if you're staying in Robe, you have to caravan park. Definitely yeah. the tourist park and Robe look, is the pick of the bunch. I've been calendar here for, as I said, 35 years to Robe. And Robe now used to be a small country town over the Christmas New Year period. And now it's just manic. Yeah. Like seriously manic. Um, it's like if you've been, if you live in Adelaide and Glenelg, the Bayside yeah. suburb of Glenelg, it's like that on steroids. <laughs> um, it's just absolutely nuts. Like, like, look at this. Hang on. Yeah. Look at that site there. They've got a camper Camp trailer. trailer. Cub looks like some sort of cub camper. And look at that. Snuggled up into the bushland. Awesome. And powered. So, check it out. We'll put some um, prices down the bottom, like but this yeah, is, this is 100% the pick of the lot. You feel like you're camping in a national park, yep. seriously. Downtown Road between Christmas and New Year's. Is pretty don't get me wrong, I love this place, but it's just manic. Yeah. If you want to get away from people, Robe, <laughs> Robe's not the place for you unless you're going to stay further out in a remote campsite or something. <laughs> yeah. Day two of robe, morning off, although a bit of a sleep in, lovely bed, nice to sleep in a bed. So good night's sleep, bacon eggs for brekkie, and now we're off to look at the obelisk, and there's some old jail ruins out here, so blue skies, only a little bit of wind, the best day so far between Christmas and New Year, New Year, so looking good, looking promising. can't walk out there now. Back in my day, <laughs> and I never thought I'd say that, but in my day. Yeah, you used to be able to walk out there. Now there's only like 10 foot path out there. Yeah. So the erosion and collapsing and stuff. So they don't know how much longer it will survive out there. But, um, pretty cool, pretty cool ocean shots with it. So it's something unique. But yeah, you can't access it as much as you could have. Five, ten years ago. They used to be a tribe, but this yeah. used to be the car park. Yes. Uh, here where we're standing now, and now it's a walkway. Yeah, you have to walk, what, probably 500 metres? Not much. So over, there's a lookout up there somewhere. Yeah. So we're going to go walk up beach there. Beach. Yeah, so I'll go for a bit of a walk up there. Don't fall off the cliff.
some exercise in the exercise yard. What are you in? You're in the jailer's rooms. So that is the old jail, which is actually where you park now to walk up to the obelisk. And there's a little info sign. So two prisoners years ago with broke out by, I think it was digging through the walls, maybe doing a Shawshank Redemption. Digging through the walls. Yep. We did a Shawshank Redemption. Pretty much. And got out, but they got caught. And from there, I think they learnt to maybe strengthen. They used the hull plates from the welder yep. as steel reinforcement. There we go. So a little piece of history in robe. So this little spot by the foreshore um, is where the Chinese arrived and then they walked 200 miles to Ballarat in search for gold. Um, so a bit of history there and then they created this stone behind and there's a bit of a plaque and you can see this archway. Um, it was in the 2000s sometime to commemorate it. So, something unique on the foreshore, that's for sure. You don't see something like that every day. So, pretty cool. Again, we'll push on. We're going to try and get to down the main street and then go to Long Beach and drive along there because that water just looks beautiful. So, can't wait to see it when we drive along. destination this time of year, Christmas and New Year. About places to avoid at Christmas to add yeah. school holidays. Yeah. We normally come down here after New Year's if we have been here. So it's a little bit less busier. So this is prime time robe. Right, we're now at the Robe Brewery, which is on a back street, White Street. So, fair way back from the main street, which is good for parking wise, but not much of a view. So, this is called Robe Town Brewery. So, Beachport and Robe, you know, uh, have been competitors over the years, I think. And we went to Beachport Brewery and we loved that great view, awesome beer. So, now let's see. This place is an industrial downtown road. Yes. That beer better That'd be, be good. good. <laughs> yeah, it is next to a beef jerky place just over there. So if you like beef jerky, there's a beef jerky place. Anyway, we'll suss it out. <laughs>
$15 for four. And we've gone simple and gone one, two, three, four. So we'll see what they taste like. <laughs> Get the taste buds on. Super soft and easy pile of hay. Robe's most popular beer. There you go. Oh, there you go. All right, let's get stuck in. So spread so far along the beach. Yeah. In 35 plus years. This is like downtown central on the beach. More near the uh, entrance of Long Beach. This is one of the main entrances. So, really beautiful, lovely beach. And you can bring any car along here. So, it doesn't have to be for your drive. You can just enter in and after two minutes, only two minutes, just pull up and, you know, it's like a highway. Very busy today. That's uh, glorious. It's not cold by any stretch. And it's just the perfect family beach. Play cricket, you know, the water's really safe. It's just ideal. It's glorious. Kind of reminds me a bit of Air Peninsula and their beaches. Um, just beautiful, picturesque. Blue, blue waters, blue sky. What more can you want? Stunning. We come earlier in the day because by about mid afternoon the wind can pick up around this part of uh, the southeast around road it can be quite strong. We're pretty lucky today, but I'd recommend coming early, not about 10 30, 10 o'clock. Enjoy it when it's a bit more quieter. Find a good spot set up like we've done as a family. We've set up the sunshade. Where are we? There we are. And just make a day of it, but you know, by the afternoon it's going up to the clock, you might go pack up, but you spend a good few hours down here enjoying the weather and the beach, which is why you come to Picks up in the harbour a bit. 
Yeah, so this is what time? 2.41. So yeah, the wind is particularly strong. Only 18 degrees, thereabouts. Got plenty of people playing cricket, boogie boarding, digging holes, flying kites, because it is a perfect kite flying day. Bondi without the cars. Or Paloobie Bondi Beach. Bondi with cars. Paloobie, yeah. Now well, they've restricted it now, but it, it's pretty hectic. Alright, that is Long Beach. Very, very easy to drive along, although it did get a bit softer. Just draw at the end. Um, there was a Cruiser. Land Cruiser bogged, had to be Number two ramp. Yeah, had to be snatched out. Um, police. Police. Now that all South Australian beaches are 40 kilometres per hour. 25 round kids. 20, why is it 25 round kids? There you go. So, um, and yeah, and they were sitting up in the sand hills with, with their big telescope. Telescope. <laughs> Spying on everyone. They were. Um, but everyone seems to be doing the right All the thing. people further around the beach because people park right at the Long Beach bit. Yeah. And then there's another boat ramp about a K or two around. Oh, it's not a boat ramp. Beach access called number two ramp. And then anything further around of that is people being fishing or that sort yeah, of thing. Yeah, there's some wind surfers there today because the wind is a, yeah. actually a bit strong. So I put a little droney drone up. Got a few little images. Um, windy. But yeah, it is it actually rain? quite windy. But, but very nice. If you can just sort of escape the crowds and drive up a bit if you're able. And get away, put up your sunshade and you've got a pretty good spot for the day.